In this video, we'll be exploring the beautiful island of Madeira, an autonomous region of Portugal located in the Atlantic Ocean around 520 kilometers west of Morocco. To get around, we'll be utilizing a rather unconventional mode of transport, as you'll soon discover. I hope you enjoy this adventure. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for even more travel videos from here to travel. This is the classic ex-army 4x4 that will be taking us off-road across the island. Despite its age, it's still making very easy work of Madeira's narrow and steep roads. Our journey started early in Funchal, Madeira's capital, and it wasn't long before we made our first stop at this stunning viewpoint. It's still very early, it's the time for some breakfast, albeit a liquid breakfast. No visit to Madeira is complete without trying the island's signature drink. Poncha is made from honey, sugar, orange or lemon juice, and plenty of aguadente de cana, a brandy made from sugarcane juice. It's wonderfully strong stuff. today is Ricardo, who's super passionate about his home island, and particularly its fauna and flora. Ricardo had a particular skill in spotting native and non-native plant species as he was driving. This was one of many stops. Which tree is that? Eucalyptus. And which, which tree is that one then? Oh, I think mm. it's the same. Yeah. See? Yeah, the same. That when the eucalyptus is too small, the leaves are like that. Ah, oh, when they go bigger, they change. Look, I'm, I'm explaining to so you so so understand. You know, Madeira name, where they come from? Uh-uh, no. The name? From the wood. When Gonçalves Arco discovered Madeira, it's so dark of wood, that's why he put wood island. But now we have many changes in our island, in the forest with the wood. East side is still similar when they discover Madeira. It's the lower civil forest. Lower is from the bay leaf forest. There's many, many family bay leaf forest, uh, trees. And still a different kind of vegetation. There is not a lot of eucalypts. Why? Because the eucalyptus is not native from Madeira, the 
brinde eucalipto madeira em 15 cm de rodor de soil. But the eucalyptus, the eucalyptus now the eucalyptus florist yeah. and he make a lot of disasters. Yeah. Oh. Many fires. How do yes. you know for the eucalyptus to produce in the fire? Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. when he has the fire, they kill other trees. Mm -hmm. And then the first trees coming up is the eucalyptus. Yeah, we went up to the um, botanic garden. Yeah, mm. uh, the we did a walk down. Yeah, we walked yeah. down from there. Did you hike down? Yeah, we yeah. hiked down. Oh, yeah, how long did that take you? About three just hours. Just over two hours. Yeah. Just over two Whoa, hours. they hiked it, David. Yeah. Okay. Well, kind of a bit dirty. Oh, I'm sorry. An, an easy okay. hike, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all downhill. Yeah. And then did you take the cable up? Yeah. Yeah, we, we took the cable up, yeah. Well, yeah. If you know what is that, it's a little bit of it. Oh. If it's because the leaves are oregano? oregano? Mm. It's a little lemony, mm. actually. Yeah, like a lemon. Oregano? Much. Don't smell too much. Yeah. Yeah. It'll oh. make you surprise us. No. What is it there? <laughs> it's cannabis. Lemon bomb? It's yeah. cannabis. What? It's cannabis? Are you serious? No. no. Is it? Is it? Doesn't no. smell Are you for real? Oregano. It's oregano. Okay, everybody's happy. Hey, cannabis. Hey, cannabis. Oh, it's not again. It's legal now. Yeah, but not in Portugal. Yeah, no. What a joker. For a few seconds at least, he had us all fooled. After another short drive through the forest, Ricardo dropped us off for a short walk along Levada de Paul. Madeira is famous for these pathways that follow the routes of irrigation channels that are vital to the island. At our journey's highest point, the weather suddenly changed, demonstrating Madeira's reputation for changeable conditions. The fog didn't last long though, and we were soon travelling under blue skies once more. Perfect visibility for some more plant spotting. Ricardo is looking for something very specific. Madeira's subtropical climate allows for a wide variety of exotic fruits to grow. He doesn't look like he's having any luck so far though. Hold on my friends, okay? Yeah. I can just do breaks now. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. I'm gonna let you keep going. Yeah. Ricardo's luck finally comes in. He spotted what he's been looking for all day. It's slightly yellow. He's going for that one, isn't that? Yeah, he's gone. Okay. You know what is that, yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, scratchy your legs. Uh, it's so thick with vegetation. Good job. Yay! Yeah. Excellent. Right, right, turn it. <laughs> so a few more. Look why I call the Jurassic Park. Yeah, mm. yeah, rainforesty. Yeah, let's go. It's got to be a lot of sleeping, sleeping, slippery roads. Let's go.
finally, we get to try some elusive banana passion fruit. Half and half. Thank you. Those are really wet mm. seeds inside. So you eat the whole thing? Or wait, wait, wait. Just two more. Go here. Mm. Like to eat, you have to squeeze and eat what is inside. I like that. Look to me. Mm. Okay? Mm. Very seedy. Huh? Not the skin. Like pomegranate, maybe. Mm -hmm. They eat seeds and all, right? Like it or not? Mmm. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Rosemary! This is the farthest point of our trip the town of Porto Moniz, known for its natural swimming pools. And then it's up to the Madeira one to make the building. Oh, yeah! Lovely. Oh, I can see the people down. Yeah, she's holding them for us. Where are you? Okay. Oh, you smashed my boots. I don't have a car. That really epitomizes just how warm, welcoming and friendly Madeirans truly are. Everywhere we went, we were met with smiles. After some lunch in Porto Monitz, we couldn't resist the opportunity to swim in the natural pools, though some of us were more keen than others. <laughs> Come on. Yes, it's worse. Honestly, it's worse. Worse right now than it is right for me. It was time to turn around and head back to Funchal, but not before a couple more stops. First, we visited the beach at Ribera de Janela, where there were these stunning rock formations. <laughs> 
Shortly after that, we visited the unique black volcanic sands of Seychelles Beach. Our tour had been a true adventure that encapsulated every facet of Madeira's natural beauty. If you're interested in embarking on this tour yourself, click the link in the description to find out more. You'll also find links to our travel guides on Madeira to help you plan your visit. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more travel videos from here to travel.